Welcome back to Clep's Garage. I'm your host, Bruce, and this is another episode of Clep's Garage where we work on and showcase anything automotive. Uh, today we're looking at a 1971 Cadillac Fleetwood 75 family car limousine. This was used back in the day by uh, a lot of times funeral homes. However, this car was never in a funeral home. I'm the actual third owner. Uh, originally, it was believed that this car was bought new by Henry Kissinger's brother. Henry Kissinger was Secretary of the State for Richard Nixon back in the 70s. I haven't been able to confirm this, but uh, maybe you YouTubers out there might know something more than I do. Anyhow, I bought it off of a guy by the name of Carl, and I'm the third owner. I've had it since uh, 1982. Anyhow, uh, today we're going to look at the, uh, the 71 Cadillac. So in its natural uh, setting, say you're going out for the evening and going to go and take in a show, the 1971 Cadillac would be your choice of vehicles to go out with your friends and uh, arrive in style. Back in the day, this was uh, a $12,000 car. That's what it sold for new. Uh, most Cadillacs were selling for about $6,000 in 1971, five to 6000 So this one was fully equipped, had uh, dual heat and air, climate control separate from front to rear. Uh, this one here was actually known as the family car, but not the limousine. It did not have the dividing window. We only made uh, 731, well I kind of forgot this, I think it's 731 of these that year, the family cars. Anyhow, you can get an idea of what she looks like. I bet you was expecting Elvis. Sorry, not Elvis. Not John Belushi either. I don't think he rode around one of these. Anyhow, this is uh, the back end of the uh, 71 factory limousine. Um, this car's been updated several times. It's currently stuck in the 80s when uh, I used to do weddings and uh, limo service with it. Uh, it's had a bar added to it. Uh, you got a, a little ice box down here to put your ice in, chill your champagne, uh, you got your complimentary drink package, keep a couple fifths in here, might want to get your glasses out and put in here, you know, just because uh, you need this stuff going down the road because, well, <coughs> might get thirsty. So anyhow, you got all that stuff that you need there. Back in the day, a TV, which would pick up about three stations, unlike today. And uh, now it just picks up snow. Anytime you want to see snow, you just turn this on. And a uh, radio. Different stations, you know, stuff like that. And then, uh, oh yeah, the intercom system to talk to the driver, because you need to tell the driver where to go. Hey driver, where are we going anyhow? How about uh, how about a Diablo sandwich and a Dr. Pepper? All right. So anyhow, this is uh, some of the things that was back here. Originally, this car would have had jump seats that pulled out. When they were out, the, the people back here had absolutely no room whatsoever. Totally useless. When I got the car, they were already gone. No sense in putting them back in. This one has a dividing curtain that goes across. Uh, speaker system up here. And uh, we'll show you a few things on the inside here of the factory stuff. Uh, ice trays galore. This thing had four ice trays back here, one for everybody. 
Even the baby smoked back then. Uh, it was disgusting. So we'll show you a little bit more from a different angle. Get the door, James. So uh, plenty of leg room back here. This was also known as a corporate limo, just to haul a couple of execs around back and forth to the airport, uh, get them briefed on what they needed to do. So uh, a couple of things back here. There's uh, overhead map lights on both sides. There's also air conditioning, you have a direct vent. You shut this and it has a filtered air where it just trickles down on you. It's like a shower of air, it just blows down on you. Also, this has its own climate control system back here. So uh, you turn this on and we'll show you what, what this does or what the system comprises of. Set this at what temperature you want. AC, heat comes out down here. There's actually uh, duct work in the, in the panels. Comes into this door, keeps this back in very, very comfortable. Uh, works for quite well. On some of the uh, models, they had a radio knob here that would work the front radio, and then this button would work the Wonder Bar. Uh, I've actually got the Wonder Bar hooked up because you could hook that up without any cabling. The, uh, the rest of it had some cabling that had to be installed. Uh, left and right windows, you can control from either side. And then there, on the fancier models where they had a door lock button here also, this one don't have that. Uh, or a rear partition window uh, also would have went here, one of the two. So uh, anyhow, this is pretty much all it. Your armrest, your broadcloth interior with leather and uh, cloth um, headliner. And overall, a very nice, comfortable riding car. Great, great interstate car. 70, 80 mile an hour down the road. You don't, you don't feel anything. Well, normally we would have put that in the outtake, the air compressor kicking on. That was just dang funny. We're going to leave it in just when it happened because you just can't plan this stuff. Anyhow, we'll move to the front of the car and show you some of the oddities in the front. Well, I will show you the front. First of all, I'll turn a little lights on in here. We got some uh, map lights that aren't stock, but they're in here. Anyhow, uh, typical uh, Cadillac stuff. Of course, your tilt wheel, and uh, like the other Caddy, your telescoping wheels. But you never can get the steering wheel right where you want it, of course. No, that's that's terrible. Where did I have this at? Well, anyhow, you get the idea. <laughs> so uh, your uh, headlights. Of course, this has got the uh, Twilight Sentinel. And the auto dim, you can set that for a short distance, far distance. Uh, the climate control, the cruise control, AM, FM radio. This car, I don't know if you can see it or not, we've got a, uh, a motor temperature gauge and an oil pressure gauge that was added. Um, then an array of switches down here, you probably can see. Um, this one here, when the uh, bar is on, this is the bar. This actually uh, sends a call back to the uh, passengers for the intercom system for the old telephone. This is an antique telephone. You millennials, look this up. Antique telephone. That's what this is. So that's there. And then uh, your bar, which turns on the radio and the TV. And then uh, you can turn speakers on up here, too. So the driver can shut this off if he wants to. I like it on. So you get the idea. Anyhow, uh, this one here turns on the AC compressor and turns it off. On the 71 Cadillacs, the AC compressor run constantly and never shut off. So this is for wintertime driving when you didn't need that. Uh, this one is for your interior lights. So you can kill the interior lights if you're going to be sitting around with the, uh, the uh, doors open. Uh, this one is a fast idle, slow idle. This is for some lights out in the grill. There's another panel over here of switches that controls the radio, auxiliary fan, uh, the, uh, the vacuum adjusting retard and advanced system that I might have put on here. <laughs> but you heard that with the, uh, with the motor running. Uh, there's actually a CB because back in the 70s, that's what was in cars. 
So everything you need up here for the driver. Um, this one's even got a tachometer. Not really sure why you need that, but I like gauges and switches and things and all kinds of stuff. There's also a thermometer that tells you the inside temperature. There's a thermometer on the, on the uh, mirror that tells you the outside temperature. And that stuff there was all stock with Cadillac, so they had all this neat stuff that nowadays cars have digital, but this is what was on here. So we'll go around and we'll show you the, uh, the other side. So now we're on the uh, co-pilot side, or the passenger, front passenger side, or I, I like to term it as co-driver. If you're on a long trip, you're hauling a uh, wedding couple to their... Uh, destination uh, from the wedding to the reception or from the reception to their uh, airport which I have done several times so uh, on this side pretty much on plain Jane clock there is a an ashtray that, or an ashtray how about a garbage can receptacle that came with the Cadillac and you can put that in and out um, kind of neat thing in here your big glove box but uh, this tells you all your things you need to know, your tire pressure, and if you're running over sustained speeds of over 70 mile an hour, what you need to do. One little trick Cadillac did, I thought this was pretty easy, I've only done this a couple of years. Right here is your, um, is your owner's manual. You never can find these things. So they hid that in, in the uh, glove box. I thought that was pretty interesting. It tells you what you need to know about the, uh, actually I keep that in here because nobody ever look in there for that. Uh, I don't know if you can see it down here, there's actually a brake box because if you notice there's a trailer hitch on here. I actually use this car to take antique cars to a car show. So antique car, pulling an antique car. So you need auxiliary brakes if you got any size trailer at all. And uh, that's what that's on there. And this is actually a vintage 71 uh, Kelsey Hayes brake box that my dad had in a 71 Olds wagon back in the day. The 71 Caddy, I figured, pfft. This is, this is uh, right down memory lane. You can adjust the, uh, the brake control by turning this knob, whether it had more brakes or less braking action when you, when you hit the brake pedal. And then when you hit the brake pedal, this lever would come over and make this giant clunky noise that was really neat to hear. So I just need sounds and things that, uh, of the cars from back in the day. Now I'll take you back to the trunk and show you the climate control system for the back of the, the car. So here's inside the trunk of the big monster. Uh, a lot of the trunk is filled up because your spare tire, which is now down here, used to be up in there. Uh, this would normally have a cardboard cover over it, but it just looks so cool sitting there. Uh, I tell everybody this is my Volkswagen motor. When we get up to 50 mile an hour, this baby kicks in and we get, I don't know, what, 40 miles a gallon. But in all seriousness, this is a climate control system for just the rear end only. Uh, this was only on the Fleetwood 75 series. Uh, this would, would keep the, the back passengers at a, a constant temperature. has two blower fans, one on each side. They are connected to fresh air ducts that go up to the trunk on both sides. And there's actually fresh air inlet take, inlets to get the fresh air in here. Um, and then your, your heat and your air conditioning condenser are inside this. This is the, the brains of it. This is a small mini computer that tells it what to do. Uh, this is your vacuum pot that, that regulates everything from hot to cold. These are the air conditioning lines coming in. These are the heater lines coming in. It's got a water control valve to shut the hot water off and on. Has a vacuum operated on off switch. That's this thing. And uh, it's, it's actually pretty complicated. There's three sensors on the car, one in the, one in the ductwork one inside the car and one in here that senses the air temperature and uh, keeps this thing at, at uh, the right degrees. So not much else different in the trunk. Fits several suitcases. Might need to pull a trailer. I already got a trailer hitch if you have a lot of suitcases. Or you can send them on a U-Haul truck. But anyhow, this is the climate control system of the 71 Cadillac. Well, now that you've seen all the... Uh, functions of the inside of the car and everything else. I think it's time to go for a drive. Let's fire this bad boy up.
So this is the 500 cubic inch, otherwise known as the 8.2 liter monster. No, this motor didn't come with this car in 71. However, this motor did come with the 76 Fleetwood in 76, which I uh, promptly took out and put down in here because I wanted the largest production motor built for this Cadillac. Right now, you can hear it loping. I have it set for, uh, for a, instead of the advance, I'm set on the retard. And I actually have a switch that I can go from cattle loping, loping, to normal. There, we just switched it to uh, normal advance. You get the idea. The big 8.2 monster. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Klepp's Garage. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Give us a thumbs up on the like. And if you feel so moved, subscribe. And you can follow us on our future videos. We've enjoyed doing these videos. We get a lot of comments about them. Uh, some people actually find my humor funny. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, so this is all about the, uh, the 71 Cadillac Fleetwood limousine. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, for now, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to have an adult beverage. <sighs> Not bad. I know what I need. <clears throat> oh, James, uh, could you take me to the store? There's a pandemic going on. I believe I'm out of toilet paper. What's that? There's no toilet paper at the store. Eh.
Well, then bourbon. I know I need more bourbon. I can't be out of that. We'll get that. We'll see ya.